All right, so I'm going to be doing a demo today on Juice Beauty. So it's not really a demo because I'm not a makeup artist. So this is a bonus because Juice Beauty is a really small line and some of you guys asked me to um, share my thoughts on it. So I'm going to just put my makeup on today. Uh, what I'm going to be using is stuff that you can get at Ulta. Uh, we are going through different clean makeup lines. And so not everything that I have here is actually clean. It's from companies that claim to be clean. So we've already done bare minerals. We're going to do another bare minerals because I'm going to show you some more um, more things there, but just wanted to let you know, this is unbiased. I don't work for any of these companies. <laughs> so this is just our plight to try and find a good company. So um, I looked at Juice Beauty for a while again, they just have like the, the skin tone pigments and this is a phyto pigment flawless serum. So this is just gonna show you putting makeup on as opposed to sharing my thoughts. What I'm going to be doing is sharing my thoughts about all the companies because we're going to be doing companies like Thrive and um, Crunchy and Beauty Counter and Ilia and all the all the things, all the brands. Root Beauty. I mean, we've got a, a lot of companies. So this one, if you see this in it, at Ulta, it's it's always like separated and weird because you have to shake it really well. Apparently, um, anyhow, I'm not typically one that likes to put on liquid foundation and I'm pretty sloppy. So oftentimes I'll put this on my hands. Uh, I have not used this yet. So I'm just saying actual um, liquid foundation. I put it on my hands. And when I was trying to find the right color at Ulta, I didn't realize this was really liquidy. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the little brush today, whatever you guys call these, a sponge, but I'm gonna show you real quick. This comes out like really liquidy, like more so than you think, but you've got to shake it. Okay, so I'm just gonna do what, you know, I was taught to do, <laughs> which is, again, I'm pretty sloppy and I do have, I brought my little makeup mirror today. So maybe I could do it like this so I can see better as opposed to doing it. It's a little blown out here. <laughs> so um, I, I try to wear uh, outfits that are lighter colored for you all so that you can see my skin tone more. If I wear black, if I move back, you can see it a little bit more. If I wear black, um, I get really blown out. So something to know about photography when you are, uh, let me put this down a little better. When you are trying to make your face more blown out, wear darker colors. If you want your face to look darker, <laughs> wear lighter colors. Um, just a funny little trick. Okay, especially in video. So, okay, so I'm gonna continue to put this on. I added a little bit more just to get a little bit more coverage. I'm gonna do in my eyes as well. So again, what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm going to be using the Juice Beauty uh, foundation because they only have foundation and, um, and powders and like skincare line, I guess, uh, but as far as the makeup, because, <laughs> because I said, I'm just gonna use stuff from Ulta right now because some of you are trying to figure out what to wear now. I bought some Tarte. And again, Tarte is very not clean. So as I'm doing research, I'm seeing more and more um, info on different companies. And Tarte has some clean things, but a lot of it is just not clean. <laughs> So I'm kind of like laughing that, you know, marketing is a big deal, right? Marketing tells you it's a clean, it's natural. It's so we're going to be doing tart uh, tomorrow, but I figure since, you know, I could practice today with these new, um, the new colors I have. So when I say blown out, I mean, um, it makes, so see how I move up and see how you really can't see my skin. If I hold my hands here and make more white, um, it blows, it, it color corrects more. So my, see how my hands are blown out, but now my face is not. So that's what blown out means. Um, so if I move back, you can see my, the true color of my skin. Okay, so now I'm going to apply their Again, Juice Beauty says the organic solution. That's their the name of the brand. Um, light diffusing dust. So again, I have not, um, we're not gonna post any of the actual organic, I mean, 
if it's actually clean or not, but they claim to be fairly clean. So I'm just using a kabuki brush and I'm just lightly dusting my face here. And this color, this was a little difficult if I remember correctly. They had, this one is rosy beige and it was hard to find, like, I feel like the color that I got on the um, foundation, it's the same, right? So it's a rosy beige, which was more um, pink. This one is more yellow. So I'm a little confused as to how they lay labeled them the same. Does that make sense? So it's like they labeled them the same, but this one definitely the, the powder and it's just a dusting powder to kind of mat mattify yourself. So I didn't put that much on, but that's, that's the makeup. So you can see it did fairly well. The thing about this one, it claims that it's supposed to be good for like older skin. So I'm gonna see today. So I'm visiting my family today uh, and we're gonna see how, how it does. Okay, so now I'm gonna just, I'm using, I actually really like this color. I'm pretty sure there's some ingredients that I don't like in this, but I'm not gonna mention all that yet, but we're gonna talk about this one tonight. Um, this is Tarte and this is Risqué. And it's hard for me to find a blush color that I like because I'm fairly like light skinned and I don't, um, the blush for me is like, it's either gonna make it my face look too pink or it's just like not the right color. So this one I liked because it was sort of a browner pink. So it's gonna bring those natural tones in a little bit more. And this is called Risqué. And they do have, I thought this was a pretty good color. This is their, I can't even pronounce it, but Maracuja. Am I totally butchering that? Maracuja? <laughs> but it's their Juicy Lip in Hibiscus. So I'm going to put that on so you can see. And it's a real kind of creamy. And I like this color because again, it's just like, light but not too dramatic and again if I move back so you can see the true colors it's a it's a good look I have like a really thin upper lip so for me it's a little bit difficult to find a color I like because then I feel like I've got like too much going on okay so this is their little tease tartlet I'm a I'm not like a huge eye makeup person I like things to be simple uh, so I have this little brush here that is really quite good, and it's by, I forget the name of this brand, but it's that Eco, maybe Eco Tools. And I like this one because it's got two, two sides. It's all, I, it's all I ever use. So we will do, and this is the color palette. I haven't even touched it yet, but it came totally broken and kind of weird inside. So that kind of is a bummer. But I'm going to start with the lightest one here on the upper left hand corner so it's this one and i'm just putting it on the inside and then i'm going to bring it over to the ridge line here same on this side and i didn't show you guys my eyes last time so i figured we'd do some today okay and then i'm going to take the let me see what wink looks like so wink is a little bit little bit darker so then I'm going to blend that just on the very center of my lid and then I'm going to take the next darker one which is called first kiss and I'm going to put that here and right on the brow my actual bone here so I like this is just this is how I do my eyes so everyone has a different approach so feel free to do what you like and then the one that's called crush We'll see if I can just highlight that just a little bit more in there. And that one has a little bit of sparkly. Okay, so I'm always real cautious with powder, um, powdered eye makeup because uh, it tends to get in my eyes pretty quickly. So I'm gonna go back to the lightest one and just kind of blend it in in the areas here, just around, because I don't like real harsh lines. I just like it to be blended well okay then i'll take this line and um 
I know it's probably not the best thing to do. So some of you guys are going to be horrified by this, but this is what I do. So I, and these are minerals. I don't know. This one, I, I this all has savvy minerals on it. So I was never had a problem with that. This one, I probably shouldn't do that with, but I'm going to use the heart breaker upper right there, brown. I want to just get it slightly moist and that's just the fastest way to do it. So I know some of you guys are like, well, I'm not too worried about that though. And that gives it just enough to, to allow it to be a little bit, um, just a I'm talking like the tad, taddest moisture in there. And it gives it the ability for me to have almost like a wet application. I'll lick my finger here since now I, I don't really know what's in this makeup. So again, this is the first time applying this one. But what I do is I apply to about three quarters of the way in all the way out. I don't go all the way in to here because if I do, it doesn't, it doesn't look right. It makes your eyes look smaller in my opinion. So when you put eyeliner all the way, you'll notice like a lot of a lot of the young girls know this too. I mean, they're doing this more, even more so like dramatically where they're putting a lot of white in the middle. It brightens up your eyes. If you have a dark line from the middle all the way out, it makes your eyes look tiny. So we don't wanna do that. Okay, so because my eyebrows are so light and I don't typically do eyebrows, I just take the leftover just to kind of pull off <clears throat> any of the makeup. And that just helps define the eyes. Now, occasionally I will take this and just do a dab underneath. And I'm talking like the smallest amount because, and, and just like there, and you can see the difference. It, it usually comes off because I'm usually rubbing my eyes so much. I have transitioned to a cream makeup for my eyes because it stays like all day and then washes off really easily. So uh, there is a company that has a cream that's coming. So I'm excited about that. Okay, and then I'm because I'm gone all day today and I don't want to mess with my eyelashes, I'm going to share with you something that a friend shared with me. It's definitely not clean, so I need to preface that. <laughs> um, this is just like, like when you put nail polish on, like 99% of nail polishes is just plastic. So on my eyelashes, I have a really hard time with most mascaras. So I've tried so many different brands and even Savvy Minerals never worked. If any mascara flakes at all, it's in my eyes. I have a horrible time. I'm tearing all day long. There's all sorts of problems. Doesn't matter what it is. It's just, if something gets in my eye, it's bad news. So, so my friend, Judy, um, I think, I think she's in her eighties. Is she 79? She's awesome. She might even be on here. So Judy O'Brien mentioned this to me and I sort of like laughed her off a little bit at the beginning. Cause I'm like, I'm not going to use that brand like legit. No. And then she's like, just try it. So um, I did, and it's awesome. And there's other companies that have tried to make this tubing technology and it, it doesn't work the same. I'm gonna share about another company that y'all love that it's not the same. <laughs> so uh, it's like putting plastic tubes on your eyelashes. So I don't really have an issue with it because it's like nail polish. It's, it's not getting in my system anywhere. So this is L'Oreal. L'Oreal double extend. So this is what it looks like. But yeah, I'm gonna show you how, how to put it on. So you use the white side first and I'm gonna flip this mirror around so that I have the nice magnifying. Now, okay, one of you guys told me this trick last time. So we're gonna actually, let me do it. You said, take a mirror and look down at it. <clears throat> Keep your face up and look down at it. This is like super annoying for my eyes. I have um, astigmatism. So this was a little bit of a pain. It does work. But if you look down at it, you don't get any, uh, see, I can't even see what I'm doing now. <laughs> I need to turn this around. You can't, you don't get any on your, um, like eye, your upper eyelid area. I never really have had that problem though. So, and the whole, I don't know, somebody else was like, you roll it. I'm like, I, how long is it gonna take me to do my eyelashes? I'm all about like quick, let's get this done quick. So. It's white, I'm gonna do the other side. All the other tubing mascaras don't have this step. Um, you know, I don't, I think this just allows it to come off easier, but the other thing is 
the, that step, fine, doesn't bother me too much, but for whatever reason, the other tubing mascaras are clumping too much. So this doesn't clump. And I like that. So for whatever reason, it's like that conditions your lashes or something. And the other thing that really has, I really have a hard time with is this corner sticking. So they stick together with the other ones, the other tubings. It's like almost like they just want to connect. I can't have any of that. Like that's a no-go. So I legit will probably return the one mascara that I bought that I'm like, this is just terrible. I've tried it twice and I can't, like I can't deal with all that. <laughs> so. so it's pretty good and I can get pretty close so you guys can see. Like it does a pretty good job. <laughs> okay. So uh, I think I did all the things. Did I do all the things? I think I did. Ooh, don't break the mirror. <laughs> so it looks pretty good. I will back up. So it it's uh it, and this will dry well. I don't have to use a curler or anything. Um sometimes I'll take my hair dryer. I know you guys do that trick and you blow your lashes. <laughs> you know, just so that they're kind of like dry and you can leave faster. But I feel like so far I'm going to give you, so part of the review process for me is me to be able to use it multiple days in a row, see what I think. Um, tart, tart is tonight. So, we're, so again, I just did tart eyes. So you could see kind of their makeup for eyes and blush and lips. But the face makeup right now was Juice Beauty. Again, these can all be bought at Ulta. I don't sell any of them. Um, so this is non-biased, but tomorrow night, I said tonight, didn't I? Tomorrow night, Tuesday night on December 26th, if you're watching the replay, um, you can find the replay in Club 31 Oils. And that is going to be tomorrow at 4.30 Pacific time. I'm in California, so do the math. I see a bunch of you trying to join the Zoom at random times <clears throat> and we're not there. <laughs> so, um, so this should be fun because uh, Tarte has given me some trouble. <laughs> so I'm going to share with you the trouble. Uh, just, just from the perspective of it's just really hard to get off. <laughs> I can't get the stuff off. <laughs> so it, that's been kind of interesting. And the color balancing, color matching has been difficult as well, which they have a lot of colors. So, you know, it should be okay. Um, but then also, and they are having like a 70% off sale right now on some weird stuff. Like I ended up getting this little set. They, it comes with like the, the hibiscus lip that I have on a, a mascara and then a shape tape. So you pick the color of the stuff, but it does have like certain of their products have talc in it. Certain, you know, some of the things have a no, no, no go stuff for me in it. But again, Tarte, um, it scored really high on our poll for you guys to want me to test it. So I figured I'm just gonna test it. <laughs> so um, otherwise, I hope that this was helpful to all of you and uh, that's it. So uh, I think it looks okay, we'll see. And we'll see how it feels. And I have some interesting thoughts on Tarte for you guys tomorrow night on how it feels on my skin. Cause that's an important thing. Um, you know, if there's any issues whatsoever, then it's like, Wow, what do you do with that? So, all right. I found a couple of these, you guys. I apparently bought a bunch of the Young Living Kabuki brushes. So this one was brand new and doesn't look new now, but I just, just use it just now. I have like a couple more. So I'm excited because this is one of my favorites. So if you can find any of these on eBay or whatever, this is a good brush to have and I keep it really nice and then clean it. I've gone through like four of them because I this is the thing I use <laughs> the most. <laughs> all right, that's it. I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you tomorrow evening. All right. Bye everyone. <laughs>